What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Steven or Heartbreaker and today we're going to be breaking down this new complexity lineup. So complexity has been around esports for a very long time. They're one of the original big Counter-Strike organizations and over recent years they've been struggling a bit. They've had, you know, the little miracle run at a major, but apart from that it's been rather disappointing and finally Jason Lake, the CEO and founder, had had enough. Having this big backing from the likes of the Dallas Cowboys owner Sherry Jones, and David Goff, a real estate investor, he said, we have this money, we have the resources, we gave it a shot this way that, with the team that they had had, and they decided to go all out. They wanted to create the juggernaut, the infamous tweet. Well, now he's pieced it together. He's created whatever he can with what was available. You know, he offered lots of money to, to the likes of people like Alexi B, and it, it didn't really work out. They chose to go a different route, but this is what he got together. We have, let me give you the roster right here, Oboe, Rush, Blame F, Config, and Poison. Oboe being the only returning member of the previous lineup, very young talent, has uh, what appears to be a very high skill ceiling, and clearly they felt good enough about him with the coaches and the staff that they have, um, you know, managing this team, that he should be able to stay and continue to grow with the organization, so Oboe got to stick around. Then they brought on these two. We got Blame F, in-game leader formerly of Heroic, uh, clearly a capable in-game leader, but he's also... If I had to compare them, you know, to some others, Stanislaw, Glaive, in-game leaders that can also be fraggers, right? Like, they're not guaranteed last place on the scoreboard every round. You know, some games are middle of the pack, some games they go absolutely off, and they're on the top of the board. Blame F has that potential, and if he can continue to strengthen his in-game leadership, I think that he's, he's a really great pickup for that role. Rush, on the other hand... Had looked really good at periods of time during that Cloud9 lineup, which won the major. He had some very impactful plays, was a big part of that project, and then when it be began to get a bit unstable, he, he started to fall off. So I think Rush is somebody who can who can perform better and act uh, in the necessary capacity when in a, a team that is more structured, more set, a little more stable. And so I look forward to seeing what Rush can do now with this lineup. I think that he's a capable player. He can certainly show up in certain games, but he doesn't always have to be your top frag. But he's typically pretty consistent if the situation is stable. He's a, a good support player. He can entry if you want him to. I'm curious to see how they're going to utilize him. I would imagine it's going to be in a support role because you have the likes of Oboe and Config who can really frag. And then, of course, moving to Poison, who's going to be the team's uh, sniper. He's going to be wielding the big green gun, the op for the team. He has shown that he is super capable of doing that during his time in some of these tier two teams, the likes of Wendigo, which was his last organization that uh, financial issues, they decided uh, they could not go on any longer. And so Poison was a great pickup. Moved over to North America with the rest of the lineup. And so this is Complexity finally getting into the international scene after being the North American uh, team for so long. Of course, Cloud9 and Liquid uh, typically had more success after the first lineup that they had, which they sold to Cloud9. Now, looking at what this team can do, they're going to be making their debut today. They're, they have a match, so here we go. 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. This is a clean slate for Complexity, and they're going to be taking on Gen G, another fresh lineup. It's going to be the same three core from the very brief cloud nine lineup it's gonna be daps automatic and kusta joined by Som from envy and six standing in for uh bintet b-n-t-e-t -E whatever you want to call him um he, he has left uh tyloo and is joining this lineup however unfortunately for this event uh, or qualifier rather he will not be able to uh participate i'm sure he's still trying to to get the visa and all that stuff situated and get on over here but it should be a good matchup nonetheless these are both very capable teams a lot of experience on this roster you got the the young new folks in the form of like sam and Obo. sick had played with complexity previously hence the jersey and so this should be a good match it should be a good test i'm actually leaning a little bit more towards complexity i think automatic is super uh capable if they can put him more into that star role which he was for a brief time in, in a previous cloud nine lineup not the super success he's been in a lot of lineups but he has shown that he can be the star um but i don't know if that's necessarily where he wants to be so we'll have to to see where they decide to, to change this up uh bent out when it comes over will probably be somewhat in that role as well but in this matchup the debut of complexity i have to say that i think that if these guys have really been grinding the way that i think they have if config's mindset has really changed 
uh, and he's focusing on improving and being the star that so many thought he was going to be alongside the young talent that is Oboe, the uh, the consistent support rock that could be Rush, the, the great in-game leadership from Blame F, also the fragging ability, and Poison with the big green gun. I mean, I think that it could really pull us off. I mean, when you compare Poison to whoever could opt for Gen G, you have, you have to give Poison the advantage there, right? And so that is very important. Of course, it depends on some of the maps, but I think that matchup, tit for tat, I have to go with complexity in this situation. I'm not super impressed by this Gen.G lineup, but they could always surprise me. Daps has done a really good job of improving lineups that maybe didn't look so great to start and putting them up. But in-game leader-wise, skill mechanics, I mean, Blame F is above Daps in that category. I mean, Daps is typically your bottom fragger. Um, if he breaks double digits, it's fantastic. Blame F, on the other hand, is typically going to break double digits. Gonna, he's going to help out the team in a different way, right? Maybe he's not as strong of an in-game leader, but I think he, he could be up there with him. Uh, just a little less, or rather a lot less experience, but the fragging power that Blame F brings could help push complexity over the line on this one. So I'm looking forward to this matchup. The complexity lineup... I think has a lot of potential. There's a lot of upside. It is not maybe what everybody thought when they saw thought Juggernaut and they saw this lineup. They're like, eh, really? Like you got Rush and he had fallen off and Oboe, you know, like he's 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 young and he's good, but he hasn't really proven too, too much. Uh, Blame FK, Blame Game Leader, Config, never really lived up to hype and Poison coming in as the opera had only really competed in the tier two level. So it is a bit of a mixed match, but I think that this is going to be a capable lineup and I look forward to seeing what they're going to be able to do. And on that note, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new lineup for complexity. Also, like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed the content. Should be getting a better looking setup for this stuff here in the future. I have somebody working on some graphics. Should be really cool and be able to get a little more in depth. This is kind of like a, a test run of these topics. Uh, and as we move into the future, it'll get more detailed, be more resources. It'll look more official. But I wanted to get something out there, kind of get my feet wet in this and, and kind of be able to watch this back and decide what did I do well, what didn't look so well, what could I improve on. So thank you guys for watching once again. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. You can always find me on Mixer at mixer.com slash TV.